Hello everyone, this is your lady, Joanna, my space in your place, uh, the storytelling channel. Let's get right into it, let's don't waste a minute, okay? I know I said I was done doing recaps about Love and Marriage Huntsville, but you know, I, I've been thinking about something and I think I want to share so I just want to share some views, something that I don't know if we missed it or maybe we need to think about this. I had a subscriber, I have a subscriber that she's uh, uh, like uh, always telling me a little something about uh, destiny. But I, I don't quite uh, always agree with her. And so I was like wondering, I said, maybe I should do a little bit more digging with this character destiny to see if I'm missing something that she's seeing that I'm not seeing. So I don't even think she realizes this, but let me tell you what, go back to what brought me to this video. Okay, uh, go ahead and like, press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This channel, if you have not done it already, I would really appreciate it. Okay, let's start from the, let me kind of go round. I was checking up, you know how Martel kept saying that he been knowing Destiny all this long time and stuff? Come to find out, he been knowing Destiny all this long time, right? Destiny was not at Martell and Melody's wedding. That's been like 13 years ago. And then on top of that, Destiny, I, I haven't ever heard her saying nothing about Mount Melody's wedding. And a matter of fact, I think I heard Melody say out of her own mouth like one day, Martell bring up this girl, Destiny, and says that she been his friend ever since for years and years like that. Somebody out the clear blue sky. That's one thing. Then time passed on and I guess Melody say, well, all right. Now, how would you feel if your husband, you this girl come out this clear blue sky and your husband tell you that um, he been knowing her ever since for years and years and years. But this, but you you didn't know nothing about this girl, never saw this girl, never heard of her name or nothing like this. Here. And you done got married and and he and uh, she wasn't at your wedding. Like that. Okay, didn't just say that the girl, y'all befriend one another, you know, y'all befriend one another, but still, uh, you, you know, you got a girl called, you, you like the person, just say you like the person, and then just say, you find out that the girl, okay, you know the girl man, because Again, your husband, that's his friend. Destiny husband was Eels, her ex-husband friend. Okay? Stay with me now. I might be rattling on. You know me, I rattle on. You have to kind of stay with me. I don't know why my eye water. I gotta go check that out from the doctor. But anyway. Martell, she know about the husband, okay? Then, all of a sudden, Destiny and this man, they get together, they get married. But now, Melody already friends with the husband before this. Even the friends, like Tisha, Kimmy, and all of them, if you think, they didn't know Destiny 
Remember Destiny and Kimmy was having a fight? Talking about the chicken man? That's because they didn't know Destiny. And, and Kimmy was saying, all I know is the, the chicken man. Well, isn't it strange that Destiny, even though if you're going to be my friend, my husband, friend from childhood, I'm going to know you. And you would certainly be, I would give you an invitation to my wedding. This gal wasn't even at the wedding. I ain't never heard of them saying Destiny was at Melody's wedding. I never heard Tisha say that she knew Destiny. Um, Kimmy definitely said that she didn't know Destiny. Remember when they was fighting about the chicken wing, man. Destiny, she said, that's all I remember is the chicken man. Well, she was talking about LeBaron because she really didn't know him. Kimmy didn't. All right. Then... Kimmy, I mean, then, um, Destiny marries this man, LeBarry. I call him LeBarry. His name could be something else. But you know who I'm talking about, Destiny's husband, which we know nothing about, which Destiny do not talk about. You ain't going to never know Destiny business. You know nothing about Destiny. You didn't know nothing about they got a divorce. It was getting a divorce. We don't know nothing about Destiny, and you're not. For some reason. I don't know why. But we don't know about Destiny. Who really is Destiny? Okay, let wait. I don't want to get off the subject. Then Destiny, next thing you know, her and uh Melody befriends this woman so close until they even, she even called her her baby mama. Like that, so she was really close to this woman. But when she got married to the man that Melody knew, but really didn't know her until later on, And found out on one of those channels, it's like, allegedly, Melody found out some things, allegedly, that her husband was doing. Just like we allegedly think Mar Maurice, Marceau, and stuff like that are doing, and like Martell would know or Melanie would know. So then you go like, with, but the, here's where friendship come in. When Melody found out that that man was a cheetah reader, pumpkin eater, she didn't really tell, I don't believe, we never heard of Melody telling Destiny about her husband. That never came up on any season. But Melody, if I'm not allegedly, because I have to go back and look, but I believe that Melody said allegedly, Melody said, I want to get this right, that she found out about her husband and she blocked him, deleted him, erased his number and all this stuff off of her phone because she was friend to the wife and she didn't want no parts of that, what he was doing to her friend. Now, that's a, that's a girl code. But she didn't go as far as telling Destiny. I never heard, or we never heard as viewers, that Melody ever told Destiny anything about her husband. We never saw that. We never saw in any scene of Melody talking to Destiny like she talked to Leticia about roll up at the bar 
at 2 o'clock in the morning, put them children in the car with you or get a babysitter and go see my... We never saw that, her telling destiny that. Did we? Now, if we did, leave it in the comments. Because, see, I might be... You know I'm getting up there in age. I might be missing something, okay? But if I'm not... If I'm, if I'm missing something... Please leave it in the comment and straighten me out. But all we know, all I ever know is Destiny on one scene came up and told Melody Hope that she had divorced her husband. Maybe I'm missing something. Leave it in the comments. Have you ever seen Melody and Destiny talk about the only thing I heard Melody say and really wasn't talking about um, the man. She said, um, you mean to tell me little Barry don't help you with that baby? That's the only thing I heard Melody say to Destiny and her with them big eyes. Like that, and she say, look like he already checked out before it even got started. He already checked out, honey. Like that. Now, I heard a remark from Martel say to Destiny. See, that's why, that's why you divorce your, that's why the better both divorce you. Because of your mouth. You and male with your mouth. So that means that him... He and this guy have like the same type of demeanor. But destiny didn't go as far as Melody did, as far as she stopped it before it got started, in other words. And she really didn't care if she had was pregnant. You know, and that's it looked like that's what happened. Because the baby was, what, three months old when the divorce was final? <laughs> so she had to have found out all of this stuff when she was carrying up her baby. Yeah, I've never seen a scene with her husband and the baby. The only time I think I saw, did we see Destiny and her husband, LaBera, at the uh, business meeting when all the big business people was in the town? Was Destiny and LaBera there sitting together? I can't remember, but I do remember seeing him. And I think that's the only time I saw him was at that big business meeting. And then uh, the Destiny race, can somebody tell me in the comments? Y'all can go and snoop around and find out. Find out for me. Where did they get the name of Destiny for the Destiny race? Because Marceau, I think he started the race. Destiny. Why did they name it Destiny? Where did they get the name Destiny? And why is it named Destiny after this Destiny woman? Now, they say, now, I got some subscribers telling me something different. They, they feel deep in their heart. They really do. And they're trying to get me on the bandwagon that there's something between Destiny and Martel. If it is, they doing a real, real, real good thing of hiding it. And if LaBerry found out that Martel was, that, that did, so, honey, it's a little, little bit more to this than what we are thinking. It's a little deeper than what we're thinking. And um, we, Mar, uh, Carlos have sold us already on the show. And then the, what I think what the unfair part is that some people get privy to seeing, um, you know, 
the premieres and things before other viewers that work just as hard on their in their content uh, uh, being a content creator and a YouTube uh, you know having a platform and we getting it out to the viewers and and having our parties and things getting the, the uh, people in the public involved with the with the show and stuff like that. But then you got some people that's like privy to inside information like that. So I think that's a little unfair to uh, the majority of the uh, YouTubers that we get like sh shut out of a lot. But that's all right, you know, because um, life for me ain't never been no Christmas style. It always had tax in it, splinters, even boards all torn up. So I, I don't look for handouts or anything like that. I just like to be things to be fair. You know, so I don't think it'd be fair that maybe even a YouTuber come on and say, Oh, I saw this I saw the premiere or I saw the show before you saw this show. Like that in both of us YouTubers. Like things like that. You keep that to yourself. I'm just throwing out. I'm not saying somebody did it. But if you did, I think you need to keep it to yourself. Because that making it. Them feel some kind of way about. Love and Huntsville marriage production people. And mail them as being uh, a part of this cast. And like you privy to something. And we work just as hard and we don't. You know, we have to wait. And look like that. That's all I'm saying. But this, you know, that's all right. If you do, you boo. But um, yeah. So it's something to think about. And then uh, Melody says about that destiny for her to come out and say, "I have." She said after when the reunion came, when she was sitting at the year reunion, I think she said, and Destiny say, "Oh, it's funny because." But she and I have not been together, um, and she said she looked at Destiny, and she had already talked to Destiny, and they and they had like talked, you know, girl talk, and what Mel say that she was sorry she felt like that. She told Destiny, she said, but after this show. She liked to like go off and like do her thing and be with her children and stuff like that. I can understand that. Now, okay, that's enough of that. But then that Martell. Martell, Martell. Martell, Martell. Well, we know Martell is not rich. Because if his wife have to send him cash apps or whatever things like that. Is that rich? Um, uh, Martell stop. I would say like a one time I did a, a video, a, a letter to Coastal. I want to do a letter to Martell Holt. Martell Holt, get yourself some God in your life. And I ain't talking about just the word, just saying it out your mouth. I'm talking about some newfound religion. Like, confess with and profess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and accept them into your life that maybe you can get some psychological help with this behavior problem because your wife dealt with PTSD. Um, nobody really know. They don't really know what your wife went through, what Melody Holt went through, living with someone like you. And if they don't know, all they got to do is look at what happened after she left you. You see how she flourished? You was like oh, some bricks holding her down. You, you were like bricks. And every time I turn around, you shooting your shots at your wife. You know what, since your mama or your auntie not going to tell you right from wrong, even you being at 40, I'm going to tell you, Miss Joanna, you're wrong, honey. 
You have children, beautiful children, and to put a woman that didn't even want to squirt baby powder on, baby oil on you, which that all seemed phony with Destiny on the phone and all that. Oh, that seemed so phony when Destiny coming there to talk about mail and you going like, Ain't no one time you just shut up to listen at nobody like that. You shut up to listen to let her talk where you could get the last shot and it was about what? Your wife. Yeah. Is it one time in your life that you're going to say anything positive about your wife? Let me tell you this here. Your life will never be right until you do. I'm just trying to give you some honest advice from somebody. I've been trying to send you messages through Instagram. I don't know if you got them or not. I don't put you down all the time. What I do, I put you down to build you up, to build your character like I would my own son. You cannot even in a show, make money in tearing down the, the mother of your children. That will, that will come and that will bite you one day. Go ahead and like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you. I count every subscriber as a blessing. Yes, this is Joanna MySpace. In your places with an S dot com. Look me up on the internet. On the are uh, you uh, on Google <laughs> on the internet, and you will see. You can read about me. I'm a storyteller, and I tell stories on my channel, and I do recaps on um, reality TV. And I just happen to I want to do this back like this because I. It's this destiny. I believe that we've been we looking at somebody that um and I'm glad that Tisha has a a, a playmate because that's all destiny is to Tisha is a playmate. Uh Letitia is a grown woman and she's a smart girl. She got the she has degrees and she have that checkbook. And I don't think she have to tell Martella or uh, Marceau about helping her mother. You know, she already talked to her husband one time, and her husband, they discussed, okay, so she's a wife, and uh, she got the checkbook, so she's going to help her. Good for you, uh, Letitia. Good for you. Uh, you should help your mother. I believe, didn't they help their mama? They build the house for their mama? Well, that's good for you, honey. Um, but you need to try to keep, keep on your mama, keeping her off the internet, because... I don't think she realized that that's what bloggers do. You get on there and see what happened. They will tell you that. And I don't think she understand that. She keep telling us to shut up and stuff. Like that. But I'm not the one to, to do it. But you got some that will rip you apart. And she can't stop them. So I don't think she know that. And the comments, oh, baby, they get worse than that. You know what I'm saying? They have to be controlled by a moderator, some of them. So that's if you run a channel like that. But my channel, most of the people that comment are either subscribers or part of what they call the kingdom crew. We try to keep it clean on this side, even in my communication and talking and giving uh, uh, my recap. You won't. I might, I think the worst I ever said on this show was ass. <laughs> but anyway, because I was like in a heated conversation. But we don't, no, we don't, uh, we keep a clean communication. And um, so this is Joanna, and I live in Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, yeah, and I do my YouTube channel, MySpaceInYourPlaces.com. And uh, I would like for you to like 
and share. And then I have lots of videos on uh, my channel. So go back and look at some of my videos and like them and share them with a friend and subscribe. So when I do come live, oh, I want to tell you guys, my camera been acting up. And so until I maybe find out what's wrong with my camera, uh, because it's really been acting up. My live camera, it's been acting up. And so I, but I told, did tell the story last night on the two Sarahs. So go over there and look at that story. I believe it's up. Uh, I think it's up. I published it um, on the, the live, the two Sarahs, and it was really good last night. And so, yeah, and I'm um, asking you to subscribe to my channel. Well, that's all I had to say is that I'm going to keep my eyes on Destiny because I really think... Um, they trying to make it look like they never had nothing to do with each other, but I know this much. Even even um, Melody said that she she really don't think that Destiny that Destiny and Martell ever had anything to do with you. Yeah. Now I go I go along with Melody. I go along with Melody. If Melody doesn't feel now Melody is the wife now. And if she doesn't feel that her husband ever had any sexual relationship, it wasn't that somebody said, I had no sexual relationship with that woman. Somebody said that on some but anyway, with, with her husband, I'll go along with um, Melody. Because a woman, she would feel that. Melody would feel that. Melody ain't been too far off course. Um, I'm not going to say I go along and then like some of my subscribers say, we're going to find out some things about Melody. Well, ain't nobody perfect. And I never said one time and one on not one video that Melody Holt is a perfect person. And um only thing that I dislike, I dislike the fact that she tried to explain herself to the rural or to Martell or anybody that who she had fellatio with. I would not have said a word because how did it look for Martell to in, interrogate her? Did you have for Lacey with it? You know what? <laughs> Let me tell you this here. Who thank God I'm going to save the sanctified woman? Because I would have had something to say to him. That the world wouldn't have liked. They'd have been beep, 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 beep. That's what he would have got. Because this man got a whole baby on this lady. And he regrets it. Ain't nobody in the world going to tell me that Martel don't, don't regret. You regret it, don't you, Martel? You regret it. You regret it so much, Martel. You messed up. And you regret it and got up, got hooked up with uh, with cold slaw. You regret that, don't you? Yeah, and you would just you hate it so much. And March, March, uh, so going right along, but like somebody getting paid some something, cause you you know <laughs> somebody getting paid some money, honey. Cause ain't no babies being shown, no house, no apartment come up. All these alleged things and alleged that, none of it seem to be true. Found out about Marceau. And um, and if you think you're going to ever get Letitia Scott to go against Marceau Scott, you'll be waiting to shallow come. The next thing we'll hear, it'll be just like Destiny, it'll be a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll be there, up, oh, jump the boogeyman and going off with the checkbook. 
That's how it will happen with her. But no, uh, Tisha, they're moving along with their property. They, they got 10 acres and everything. She, uh, little did do she really care about that. Only thing she told Mar Marso, I'm going to pick out your uh, business manager. I'm going to pick out, and she's not going to be no young woman. She's going to be a, a older. She ought to let me do it. I put in an application to be it. <laughs> And so, but anyway, uh, okay, uh, go ahead and like and share this video. And I'm sorry that I can't come live. I'm not going to come live uh, for a while because of my camera. My camera has messed up. So, this is Joanna, my space in your place, um, where I count every subscriber as a blessing. So go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and make my day. Okay, love you so much. And um, be thinking what I was saying about that destiny. Let's keep a side eye on destiny, okay? Let's keep a side eye on destiny. All right. And let's pray for Martel that he... Um, that he find Christ in his life for real. I'm talking about for real. Then he will change his attitude about trying to um, be like his wife. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Okay, See you.